And then even beyond that, so much of what even we're talking about today in creating your content, it's mm -hmm. realizing that there, everything you do is marketing and marketing is everything, okay? Mm -hmm. So er, when you're creating a book, you've got to have a community to be able to, in a sense, sow that book in two, don't you? Yeah. And so you've got to start building yeah. this either long before you write the book or as you're writing the book, setting up for distribution, aren't and you? One of the very first things that I think a person needs to have when they're going to write a book is a vision mm -hmm. of what their book is for. What's the purpose of it? And then secondly, they have to have a strategy of how they're going to use the book to complement their, their business, complement their goals, complement their mission in life. And the third thing, you have to understand exactly who the book is written for, who's your target. Because if you precisely define who you're trying to reach while you're writing it, you can be a lot more focused and a lot more effective in addressing the audience that you're writing to just by knowing exactly who it's going to. That is awesome. So as we're creating content for today, so how would someone, like if we look, pull a slide up for creating your content, mm -hmm. Let's cover a couple of the points in this segment that you've got here. Conversation, no, yeah, it's conversations, phone calls, and then FAQ and SAQ. What well, are you talking about? One, one of the things I like to tell people is we are always creating content of some sort. What this is about is capturing your content. I mean, you and I are talking here. We're having a discussion. This isn't scripted, and as we're talking, we're creating content, and we're going to use that content in a various ways. We're going to we'll have a video. We can create blogs with it. We can create articles from it. This isn't the only thing. You don't have to have a television show to create content. Take something really simple, like a telephone conversation. When you're in business, a lot of times you get a phone call, and somebody will ask you, well, how do I handle this problem? What do I do with this? If you were thinking in advance, or if you were to just stop and say, well, hold on a second, you know, why don't you let me record this, and then if you want to review it later, you can. If you're thinking in advance, and you have a way to do it in advance, and you record those conversations, sometimes people create such quality content. When someone's asking you questions, and I've, I've noticed it, when someone's interviewing me, I come up with great, better ideas, better analogies, better metaphors than if I were just setting and thinking and trying to write something down. So when you're on a telephone conversation, and you can do that with something like freeconferencecall.com. Just say when you have an appointment to call someone, just say, well, call on this line. And then you'll be able to turn it on, record it, capture that, and you have that information that you can later transcribe it. You can put it in. Down here, uh, there's two things, FAQs and SAQs. FAQs, most people are familiar with on the internet. People want to know, what are the most frequently asked questions that you get? Well, you need to keep track of that. You can keep track of it in emails. People send you emails asking you various questions. Well, collect those. But there's also something listed down there called SAQs, which stands for should ask questions. We all have the same people ask us questions over and over, but there's some things that in the back of our mind we know that, hey, they ought to be asking me this. It doesn't really matter maybe what the price is. What does matter is what do you get for it? And there's certain things that are should ask questions. And if a person sets down and records those, that's valuable content.